Hi everybody, this is Kat. Good morning. It is morning time. Okay. This video is for everyone and especially Cute Charms Forever. She <coughs> had made a video and was complaining about all the mess ups that she's had and I think there's never a mess up. I don't care if you think you've turned it into trash. That's not a positive way of thinking. To me, even the worst mess up is still a piece of art. You can still accomplish something with it. I keep all my mess ups and I learn from them and I turn them into something new. But I have a bunch of my resin pieces here that I have really messed up on. But I still like them. Okay. We had FRD, not this year, but last year. These are my butterflies. As you can tell, some are really, really thick. And some are really, really thin. And some have actually flown the coop and left a little backing of the pin. So, that's because I used um, 3D stickers for scrapbooking. Don't do that. That's wrong. It doesn't last. But these turned out really pretty. They're kind of like my amber with the gold leaf in there. I think those turned out pretty. This one here has buku well it doesn't have a lot but it has a couple of air bubbles on the guitar you can't see it because of the camera I'm using this um, camera I'm using but I can see them and then this one here I didn't mod podge and the stickers bled and the big piece sign kind of floated that way it kind of went south for the winter so that one was a fail this was supposed to be like a it's a nipple off of a baby bottle for a baby shower and it's kind of like um yeah <laughs> and this was one of my very very first pieces all I ever had to start off with was hearts and this is before I found out that you could put stamps in there and I had the same problem with everything floating down so that was a fail and MJ had sent me um, a bone to make for my husband and stuff and I'm dyslexic so yeah Shadow was misspelled and put backwards. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, Shadow's backwards. It, but it still turned out pretty. I like it. And, oh, this is a big, 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 big fell. Okay, this is my Christmas tree I made. And I have, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a big chunk missing. You see, it's big enough to put my finger in. And there's a, it was just horrible, horrible. There's a big air bubble hole there. And it just really a master fell as a Christmas ornament. Yeah, but it's still my piece of work, and I've got several air bubbles on the side. So, and this here, as you can, wow, you can see that real good, how that just bled all over the place. Yeah, this is when I first start using stamps. So, let's see, I got a couple more. I got a flamingo. Yeah, no, they're ugly. Oh, I'm not going to show that one. Then it turn into adult content. And this is one of my very first pieces. Again, like I said, I still don't have a lot of molds, but I got some. And this one here was one of those little squishies 
for the cars. And, yeah, that didn't turn out too good. It's interesting, though, how that just looks like somebody cut it in half. Don't ask. I don't know. So, and... That's just plain ugly. But, you know what? To me, I still like it because it's shiny. Shiny, shiny. And this is another fell. My candy floated and went down south. And let's see. Uh, yeah, my Hello Kitty. All my candy decided that it didn't want to say where I put it, so it just floated over there to the other side. It hates me. And this is my my pony, and you can't tell, but the um, it's got a rippling effect to it. So hold on, I've got a ton. I'm trying to pick out some that are really, really okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, like I was telling her, and this is supposed to be a tattoo in there. You cannot tell. This is before I found out that we could paint the back of the tattoo. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I got one in here that's even worse. So... You know, like like I say, there's there's no there's no bad nothing's bad. It's just pieces of artwork that you're gonna take and you're gonna make something fantastic out of it. Where did that piece of cake go? Where did that cake? Here it is. Okay. Do not laugh. This is that's a wedding cake. Okay, you can laugh. Oh my god. Okay, I hear you all laughing now. Y'all can stop. Ha ha! The phones are ringing and I'm not being interrupted. And this one actually turned out really cute, but I used the wrong color background on it. Because the cat and the butterflies blended in with the background, so you really cannot hell. And I really like that. And I don't have no more stickers like that. So, yeah. And I don't even know what happened there. That little kitty tried to disappear on me on this one. This is my frog. I think he got tired of hanging around and just hopped away. But like I said, I have a whole container of screw-ups and mess-ups. I mean, it's unreal of all the mess-ups I have. I guess I got about 10, you can hear me going through this box. And here's another good mess up. The sticker floated up here to the top, oops, up here to the top, and made a big mess. But you know what? We all learn from our messes. And this was a mess up because this bled over here to this tooth. And, yeah, that was a mess up. But I still like it. It's still pretty cool. And this was my cookie of polymer clay. I even mess up on polymer clay. Oh, my gosh, you don't want it. You know what I do? Oh, 
I mess up on polymer clay a lot. It's fa I think it looks good until I bake it, and then I'm like, ugh. And then here's my red and silver lips. Yeah. All my glitter floated down, and I found out if you lay a um, layer of glitter, of not glitter, if you lay a layer of resin down first, and then you put in <laughs> your glitter, it kind of like, yeah, that's the way I do it. And this is supposed to be like a picture frame with Hello Kitty. Yeah, it was a mess up. And a lot of these were like, what was you thinking? Here's another mess up of my polymer clay. This was supposed to be a hairband for your hair. Yeah, that was a mess up. So, you, like I said, not everybody does good work. Oh, and the little 3D stickers that are supposed to change when you move them. Not so good in resin. Yeah. Five dollars on a sheet of stickers to be ruined in like, um, matters of seconds. And this is my first attempt of doing separate colors. As you can tell, they bled together. Not so good. And let me see, let me see. But, you know, I like my stuff. And it doesn't matter if anyone else likes them. It's a matter what you think of your stuff. It's all up to you. If you like it, then it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of work. If they don't like it, you know what? They don't have to look at it, they don't have to buy it, and they don't have to own it. It's yours. And you should take pride in anything that you do. My little guitar. Ooh, George! Hold on! George! Look! Hi, Bill. George can play the guitar now. Concert. Coming soon. Album. Coming out. <laughs> Now remember, George is also going to be looking for some place to go, and pretty soon I'm going to make a thing once I figure out how I'm going to work it and get it all out there. And you know what? Um, cute, cute charms forever has actually made George a girlfriend, so George will be coming with a girlfriend or a wife. We'll have to have a wedding for him because you know they cannot. Yeah, they got to be married. So we'll have a little wedding on here for George and his girlfriend. But look, George is playing the guitar. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's bad. Say bye, George. Bye, everybody. Ha, ha, ha. My album will be cut out soon. Yay. I'll call it Honky Tonk George. Yay. Okay. Well, everybody... I hope you all enjoy my screw-ups and my mess-ups. And this was my first attempt at, my first attempt at amber. I think it looks good. It's a necklace, and it's made out of um, funnel coral and this regular glass beads. And it comes with earrings and everything else. But it's supposed to represent um, amber, and there is an ant. Yes, I put a bug in my amber because amber is supposed to have a bug. So I enlisted Ballista K to go out into the front yard, piss off some fire ants, put um, a bowl down with a little bit of some stuff in there so they would be attracted to it after she made them mad. And they went in there and attacked whatever was in... It wasn't another bug or anything, but they went into the bowl and 
when I got about 20 of them, I shut, she shut the lid on the bowl, and then, yes, I did humanely deceased the ants. What I did is, um, I took them and I put them in a flash freeze. I fla fra flash froze them and then I stuck them in the freezer. So they were, in the, they didn't suffer. But boy did she, she got bit so many times. <laughs> I'm allergic to them so she had to go out there and get the ants because if I get bit by a fire ant I end up in the hospital getting um, shots in the butt, and those things hurt. So, oh, and look, I even killed the dead fish. See, he's a mess up too. He's got, um, I put some of my cat's fur in it because my cat is like 25 years old, and every morning he wakes up, we celebrate. Yeah, he's that old. Okay, but anywho, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope that this shows you all that not everybody is perfect, and everybody has their fails, their mistakes, and their what the heck was I thinking of, and just remember, you know, there is no mistakes when you create. You are creating art. Not everything is perfect. The Mona Lisa is not a perfect picture. There is not a perfect artist out there. Everybody does make mistakes. So be proud of what you do and be proud to show it. Even if you do think it's a flaw, what you might think is horrible someone else might actually like. So, think about it. You know, like my puffy little earring I made here. Yeah, my my sticker sunk and my um, paint and glitter floated around the, around the earring stud there. But, you see, one looks good, one looks like caca. But you know what? This is going to be a push pin for my cork board in the background. So I made something out of a mistake. There's never mi a mistake. They're just pieces of work of art. So I hope everybody's learned something from my video. And please enjoy the music of George as... Okay, George, hold your guitar. There you go. As we get ready to leave leave you for the day so I hope you enjoy like and comment and blue Tory 999 you went shopping without me Urgh, how dare you love you bye everybody da -da.